Good morning, friends. I am so excited to be here today. Today is a very special day. Let's get started by singing our song, and then we'll talk about why today is special. Ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Great job singing, friends. So we'll say good morning to mummies and daddies, and good morning to brothers and sisters, and good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. Today, I'd like to know how you're doing. Can you tell me? Great words. So today, I'm feeling happy, and I got a good night's sleep, and I'm very excited today because today is a very special day. So who has figured out what is special about today? Hmm. What is Miss Tracy wearing? That's right, Miss Tracy is wearing her St. Patrick's Day clothes. So she's got on what color pants? Green, and I have a shamrock scarf. I have a green beaded bracelet, and I'm wearing my little lucky leprechaun hat. But something else is special about today, not just what I'm wearing. Our tricky leprechaun paid us a visit last night. And instead of leaving us a big mess to clean up today, he left us something different. Can you see it? Where is it? Is it right here on my easel? What did the tricky little leprechaun leave us? He left us a pot of gold. And inside the pot of gold are gold coins. I bet everybody got a gold coin today because we did, we worked really hard trying to find our tricky leprechaun, didn't we? We did, we set all sorts of traps. Did we end up trapping him? No, we didn't, but that's okay. Better luck next year. All right, so let's get started with our calendar. We have lots of fun things we're gonna do today, but we always have to start by figuring out what day of the week it is. So let me see your two fingers and your five fingers, and let's sing our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Who knows what day of the week it is today? Hmm, yesterday was Tuesday which means that today it is Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and we're going to have some fun. All right, we have figured out that it's Wednesday and we know that it's March, but let's figure out what number it is today by counting all the way to this number. Are you ready to help me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, and 17. Today is number 17. The one and the seven make 17. So let's write that on our board. I got some new markers. So let's use a green marker today to write that today is Wednesday. March 17. Good job, friends. All right, and after we're done counting, it's time to do the weather. 
What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Hmm. Can you use your looking eyes to look outside and tell me what the weather is where you are today? Great job! Where I am today, I can see that it is sunny. And I can also feel the wind on my face. So I'm going to put up the sun and the wind. And when dressing the weather panda, or, oh my goodness, the weather sloth, we are going to put his rubber boots on and his pants. He's going to wear his sweater and let's see, there they are, his sunglasses. So let's put his sunglasses on. There we are. Our Weather sloth is all ready to go to school today. All right, so I am going to do our craft before I read our storybook, just so that I make sure that um, we, get, we get it all done properly. So today for our activity, we are going to need the marble, the cut out shamrock, some green paint, and a spoon and a tray. You're going to need a tray. A cardboard box lid or even a baking sheet will do fine in a pinch for this marble painting. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use our marble to paint our shamrock. And we're gonna do it using green paint and our tray. So let me show you how we do this. So Miss Tracy's gonna take her marble. I'm gonna drop it inside my paint and I'm gonna mix it all up with my spoon and get it all covered up. And then I'm going to put my paint aside, drop my marble onto my shamrock, and then I'm going to use my tray and tip it back and forth and side to side to use the marble to paint. So let's try rolling our marble back and forth. What do you think, guys? This looks pretty cool. So I'm going to try to get my marble back in that paint so that I can get it covered in more paint. There we go. Okay. I'm going to add some more paint. So I'm going to take my marble with my spoon. I'm going to put it back in my paint cup, roll it around, and then drop it on a different spot on my shamrock. And it's kind of a fun game because you want it to move fast to get the paint all over the shamrock, but you don't want to lose the marble onto the floor because what happens then? You get paint on the floor, which is no fun. Okay. So we can be kind of tricky. You might need to hold it down a little bit to get the marble going. Because as it gets wet, it might want to try and curl. There we go. Oh, I painted my finger. Awesome. All right. So I'm just going to get our marble. I'm going to put it in our cup. And I'm going to hold up our shamrock to show you what it looks like when we're all done. Now you can cover your shamrock with more paint if you want. You can keep going. You could add a little white to your paint. Um, to make it a lighter shade and do different shades of paint on your shamrock. That would look pretty cool. All right, so that is finished. And now it is time for our story. So today I have a really fun book called How to Catch a Leprechaun. Are we ready to listen to my story? Excellent. I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, Here is the story I have for you today. 
So how to catch a leprechaun. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. Oh no, look at this mess. House number one, I'm going in. Really, that's your trap. I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoe box on a stick. Well, I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. So do you see this little person is hiding? They're gonna pull the rope and try and trap the leprechaun that way, but the leprechaun, he's not tricked. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Oh, now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. Oh no. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. But I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy. But I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, pantsy, dancy. So what did this little girl try and do? She was trying to catapult her unicorns at him. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap. From the ceiling to the floor, nice try indeed. But soon enough, I'll stroll right out that door. So look, there were lots of little robots in here, wasn't there? The Leprechaun Be Gone 3000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. What is the leprechaun drinking? He's drinking some tea, probably some dandelion tea. What a good storybook. So we didn't get to catch our leprechaun either, but that's okay. We still got the pot of gold. The leprechaun was super sweet to leave us our very own pot of gold. All right, I would like to play a little bit of a game with you. So I have a tray and I've covered it with my scarf. And so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to show you what's on my tray. And then I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to take something away. Hopefully this works where I get to be a little bit tricky. But I need, I'm going to then show you the tray and you're going to have to tell me what is missing. Okay, so we're going to try and use our memory and our brains to figure out what is missing. So let's talk about what's on my tray. Okay, so I have lots of green things on my tray today. I have a green person. I have a green dinosaur. I have a green magnifying glass. A green wood block. A green bristle block. 
a green shamrock, and some green Play-Doh. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven things on my tray. So I want you to memorize what's on my tray. Have a nice good look. And I'm going to cover it up. And I'm going to take one of these items away. Let's see what I can figure out. Okay. So now, all right, I have taken it away. And I'm going to hold up my tray and I'm gonna see if you can figure out what I took. So on my tray, we still have the Play-Doh, the shamrock, the person, the magnifying glass, the wood block, and the bristle block. So what was right here that is now missing? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Hmm, let's hear your guesses. What do you think it is? Did I hear one of you say that I took the dinosaur away? Good guessing. Okay, let's cover this back up. See if I can trick you. Let's see what I can take. All right. Here we go. Okay. So what's left on the tray is the Play-Doh, the shamrock, the dinosaur, the magnifying glass, the wood block, and the bristle block. So what was right here? What is missing? Hmm. You have any guesses? Good job. If you guessed that Miss Tracy took the green person, you would be totally right. Good job. Okay, let's see if I can trick you even more. I'm gonna try and take, let's see how many things I can take off the tray. All right, are we ready? Let's see, what do we have here? We have the bristle block, the shamrock, the little person, the dinosaur, and the magnifying glass. So what do you think Miss Tracy took off the tray? Hmm. There was something here, and there was something here that Miss Tracy took. I wonder what it could be. Those are some really good guesses. Okay, so if you guess that Miss Tracy took the wood block and the Play-Doh, you would totally be right. Good job. All right, friends. I think we might play this game a little bit during our uh, meeting today because I just, I think it is so much fun and it's really exciting to try and see you guys figure out what Miss Tracy is hiding. All right, friends, that is all I have for us today. I can't wait to see you again. I had so much fun today celebrating St. Patrick's Day and our tricky leprechaun and wearing green. Hopefully you wore green too, and I will see you soon. So let's get out our working hands. All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye friends, I'll see you soon.